everyone welcome you all to bio school this is gayatri and today's topic of discussion is species interaction we all know that number of individuals living in a community and they interact with each other that form the basic of ecological processes like nutrient cycling and food web in this video we will discuss about why the species interaction is essential is it beneficial to both the interacting organism what are the types of species interaction with their examples and at last we will see what type of questions are asked from this part hello everyone and today's topic is species interaction as its name indicates that it is the interaction of species in a community so let's see the number of organisms living in a community they interact with each other for the vital processes of life like uh, for the growth nutrition and the reproduction and that interaction it may be between the individuals of the same species that is known as the intra specific interaction or with the different species that is called as the inter specific interaction this intra or inter specific interaction of individuals in a community is known as biological interactions or species interactions the interaction between the organism that may be beneficial to both the interacting organism or it may be beneficial to one of the organism and without harming or with harming the others so based on whether the interaction it is beneficial to both the interacting species or it may be the harmful to at least one of the species the species interaction or the biological interactions are classified into two categories what are those first one is the positive interaction and the second one is the negative interaction now we will see what are the positive interactions and what are the negative interactions okay so the species interactions are divided into two types the first one is the positive interaction and the second one is the negative interaction further the positive interaction means whether both the interacting species they are getting benefit from each other are divided into two types one is mutualism and the second one is known as the commensalism then now comes to negative interaction in the negative interaction means where the both the interacting species the negative interaction where one of the interacting organism they get benefit by harming the other individual or without harming the other individuals and the negative interactions are of four types the first one is amensalism the second one is parasitism third one is predation and the fourth one is competition now we will see each type of interaction with their examples the positive interaction the first one is mutualism mutualism means it is the interaction in which both the species get benefit from each other and this type of interaction it is presented by plus plus sign okay further the mutualism is divided into two types the one is obligatory mutualism and the second one is known as the facultative mutualism so now we will see what is obligatory mutualism and what is facultative mutualism and their examples obligatory mutualism means both the partners or the both the individuals they depend on each other none of the partners can survive individually okay this type of interaction is known as obligatory interaction let's see the examples the first example is lichens lichens it is an association between the algae and the fungus and the fungus as they are the heterotrophic organism they don't have the chlorophyll so for the food the depends on the algae okay so here the fungus is the provide the nutrients uh, and the minerals to the algae and the algae it prepare the food because it has the chlorophyll and they associated with each other 
that type of interaction is known as the obligatory interaction and the second example is the symbiotic nitrogen fixation in symbiotic nitrogen fixation the hygiobium they are associated with the root nodules of leguminous plants where the rhizobium it convert the atmospheric nitrogen into ammonia which is used by the plants in turn the plant it provide the carbohydrates to rhizobiums okay. and another example is mycorrhiza myco means the fungus and rhizo means roots it is the symbiotic association between the fungus and the root of some trees so these are the few examples of obligatory mutualism now we will see what is the facultative mutualism in the facultative mutualism the two species or the two individuals they interact with each other but both of them can survive individually okay so that type of interaction is known as the facultative mutualism in obligatory mutualism both the species they depend on each other they cannot survive without each other but in the facultative interaction though both the species they favor each other but they can survive without other and the example is association between hermit crab and sea anemone sea anemone is carried by crab to the feeding site okay in turn sea anemone it protect the crab from the enemies now the second type of positive interaction is commensalism so what is commensalism means in commensalism it benefits one species without affecting the other species okay so here one of the species will get benefit without harming the other species and it is represented by plus 0 okay what is the example of commensalism the example is epiphytes epiphytes are the plants which growing on the surface of other large plants okay they use the other plants for the support okay but they don't defend that plant for their food and the water here the epiphytes epiphytes they get benefits without harming the larger plants okay. now comes to negative interactions negative interaction is that type of interaction where one of the species get benefit by harming or without harming the other species let's see what are the types of negative interactions and their definition with examples the first one is the amensnalism amensnalism means is the minus zero okay so what it indicates that one of the individuals okay one of the individuals that restrict the success of the other while the other species has no effect on it that means one of the species is getting harmed without harming the other species that is amensnal lesion okay an example is penicillium okay the mold penicillium is secret penicillin and the penicillin it is used to kill the bacteria okay and this concept it help in the development of antibiotic penicillin and the next is parasitism parasitism is interaction between the two species that is beneficial to the one and that beneficial one is known as the parasite and it is harmful to the other one that harmful to the other one is known as the host and parasitism it is represented by plus minus sign plus means one of them is get benefited and minus means the other one is getting harmed okay so what are the examples we know that the malarial parasite uh, plasmodium it used the vector mosquito to sp spread the diseases to the other host also the microorganisms like uh, bacteria virus fungus they cause many diseases in humans animals and other plants are also known as the parasites and the parasites are divided into two types one is the ectoparasite and another one is the endoparasite ecto ecto means the outer 
the parasite which feeds on the external surface of the host for food and the shelter the those are known as the ectoparasite what are the examples examples are lies on humans and the ticks on the dogs endoparasite endoparasite means the parasite which live inside the host body those are known as the endoparasites examples are the tapeworm in the intestine okay now next one is predation predation where a member of one species kills or feeds the member of another species okay so the member of the species that kills the member of another species is known as the predator and the species which is killed by the predator is known as the prey and this type of species interaction it is plus minus interaction is one get benefit by harming the other one what are the examples like a lion tigers and the predator who kills the herbivores like a cow goats in the forest and the last one of negative interaction is competition competition is a type of interaction that affects both the species negatively okay that affect the both the species negatively means both the interacting organisms they are harmed okay and it is represented by minus and minus because both the species they compete over food and other limited sources okay and this competition is divided into two types if the competition is among the member of same species then it is called the intra specific competition example let's consider two male birds of the same species okay they compete for the mates in the same area okay that is type of interaction is known as the intra specific competition as both the male birds of the same species competing for the mates in the same geographical area then next one is the inter specific competition inter specific competition means between the individuals of different species okay the example is cow and the horse they compete for the grass in a grassland it is a type of inter inter specific competition okay so now we'll see all the type of interaction in a table okay so the type of species interaction the first one is the competition competition where the both the interacting organisms they get harmed so it is represented by minus and minus amensionalism amensionalism is represented by minus 0 means one of the interacting organism it get harmed and without affecting the other individuals then the predation herbivory and the parasitism it is the plus minus type of interaction means one of the organism get benefit by harming the other one mutualism mutualism means both the organisms they get benefit from each other okay so this is the plus and plus type of interaction whereas in commensalism one of the species get benefit without harming the other one this is the plus zero type of species interaction whereas the neutralism as its name indicates that this is the type of interaction where there is no effect of one individual on the other individuals so now we'll see the previous year csi net questions so the question is given below is a matrix of possible interaction beneficial means the plus harmful means minus neutral is the zero between species 1 and 2 the name of interactions a b c d respectively are okay so here it is the species 1 here it are given the plus minus and zero sign also for the species 2 plus and the minus sign now we have to find out what type of interaction are presented by the species a b c d okay as seen the species c species c it is both are plus okay 
the the interaction between the species one and the species two for the series plus plus. So the plus plus is the which type of interaction with the mutualism. Okay, let's see. Option A has the mutualism in the C and option C it has also mutualism. So the correct answer is either A or C. Okay. So the first the option B and the option D are the wrong answers. So let's see option B. Option B is the type of interaction is the plus and minus. Plus and minus interaction means one of the species getting benefit by harming the other. Okay. So what do you think is competition or the predation? The predation. Okay. Similarly, let's see the uh, A. A it represents the minus minus. Okay, both are the minus and minus. So the minus minus is the which type of interaction? It is the competition. Okay, it's the competition. And option D it represents the minus and zero. Minus and zero means one of the species is getting harmed without affecting the other one. That is Amens knowledge. Is the Amens knowledge. So the correct option is option C. Hope this video will helpful to you. And if you like this video, then don't forget to share and subscribe. Thank you.